The video starts with the removal of an overlay. A rotary grinder with a 30 grit 10 segment is being used to remove the bulk of the material on the first pass. Because of the thickness of the material, not all of the overlay is removed on the first pass. The bulk dust is collected by vacuum wand. And then the rest of the overlay is removed in the same way, a little bit quicker, until the base slab, the concrete below it, is exposed. After this, a vacuum wand is used to collect the bulk dust. This is done to collect whatever dust remains on the top of the concrete. Following this is a shot blast. This de-dusting process is responsible for removing all the dust that the vacuum wand could not. This is the dust that was created during the grinding and then subsequently was forced into the pores of the concrete. The shot blaster agitates the surface of the floor under negative pressure and extracts that dust fully. This results in the difference of appearance because the floor is clean of that fine dust. The surface pores are exposed as a result. This is where that fine dust normally would hide if only vacuumed. The shot blaster removes that dust from all these small pores. And that's about it. A de-dust process that removes the fine dust from the surface of the concrete that was created and then placed there by the diamond grinding. The result is a floor that's clean and ready for the coating. Thank you.